Oh no! Bullet, what happened? Mm. Wheel fell off. It fell off? Yep. Going down the highway. There's mud up on there. The wheel fell off. I'm sorry, folks. I don't know how you were to come back from that. All right. This is our 2009 Load Trail trailer that uh, we picked up at an auction. As everybody knows, if something goes to an auction, it's because there's a problem with it. However, in this case, I got the backstory before I bought it. The guy uh, who was friends, actually, with the auctioneer was getting rid of it in a divorce. He used it on his property and had had it for a long time, original owner. But he'd used it all the time, uh, all over his homestead. So I knew it was a, at least a decent trailer. Sure, it might have some problems. But we went through it, the whole thing, did the whole deck, uh, painted everything, got a look at the axles, the wheels, the tires, all of it, the best we could when we bought it. And over time, it's been fixing it up. And uh, basically, we, the, the axles and the wheels were kind of the last thing that we were going to tackle. But now we're going to get to tackle them a little sooner than probably we expect. Um, the hubs, the wheels, if you can come in here just a little bit, you'll see the wheels are covered, uh, caked in mud. Um, they're all four like that inside this, behind the rotor, or behind the, the brake drum. And um, so what happened is, uh, when we were using, this is the, we just took a trip to, uh, to Hacks for the Homesteader and uh, we were using the trailer to bring back some soffit material that part of our homesteading community, they had, had some surplus and they gave us, right? Well, this is the longest trip we have taken with the trailer and uh, naturally we had the tow and haul feature enabled on the truck. Um, which these are electric, electronic disc brakes that are connected to the truck through the 7-pin wiring harness. Um, so the brakes were enabled and activated, and the only thing we can guess is that somehow the mud acted as a binder, and with the brakes engaged on the, on the rear wheels, uh, we were basically just waiting for this kind of thing to happen. So... Now I've got to find a parts manual or uh, parts configuration for these wheels, figure out what we're missing besides the bearings uh, that, are, that are sheared off and gone, figure out whatever else is left, and figure out how to rebuild the wheel, which shouldn't be too terribly hard, just labor intensive. And then once we get this wheel put back together, we'll go through the other three, make sure that they don't have any more mud in them that we didn't catch when I was cleaning the thing up before I started to rebuild it. Um, it's always an adventure on the homestead. This is what happens, but it's all good. We'll get through it. And end of the day, we had a great day. We were able to put more firewood back for, uh, for hacks in the homesteader. And uh, we were able to bring the soffit and fascia material home so we can do some repair work on our place. And uh, we were able to get home with no issues. Uh, on a three-wheeler. On a three-wheeler. Yeah. No one. A three-wheeler, 20-foot trailer. Nobody was hurt. No damage. Um, the, the, the wheel came off as we were turning into a Dollar General to get a quick drink on the way home. And uh, split between two buildings. And we found it about 50, 75 feet, I guess, back from where the truck, or the truck and trailer ended up coming to a stop. So, but no damage uh, other than this, um, no infrastructure damage to any buildings, no people damage, nobody hurt. Um, honestly, for this kind of thing to happen, this is honestly the probably the best outcome we could have hoped for. So, thank God for that. Appreciate everybody's views. We're coming up on 100 subscribers, and we're working on something interesting. We'll see if it materializes. Be looking for that. Thank you for your support. We love you. We appreciate you. God bless and I hope you have a great week.